Vlogmas day seven. Ooh, seven videos in a row. Holy a holla bag. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so right now we are babysitting the cuties. Holt is in his high show waiting for me. I just made some pasta. So this family is vegan and gluten free. So the pasta was made of like, I think lentils, like yellow lentil pasta. I've never had that before, but I'm gonna try it. I'm not even really hungry, but I was gonna try it. But all the time I feed the little baby, I think he's like two, I have to chop his food up like really small with these kitchen scissors so that he could eat it without choking. I added like some broccoli into it. It's like this big old pot of pasta, so it's like a whole bunch of leftovers. Anyways, up here is the Yucca Valley, area. Yucca Valley area. It's very cold. So I'm still like wearing this, my jacket inside because it's so cold. What else is new? Today after work, once this shift ends, I have to head to Home Depot. I gotta buy some spray glue because tonight at the church, um, we're supposed to work on the parade float. And my brother-in-law, Jeremiah, owns his own vinyl business. And so he's gonna make us poster boards that go on this huge book that we're putting on our parade float. A huge book, AKA a Bible. So I'm gonna message him right now to make sure those are like still coming today. There's the pasta. We're gonna feed our, our baby human. And I'll show you, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. The child that I'm watching, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna, it's, it's gonna be a little quick story time. It's gonna be the cutest thing you've ever, ever heard slash seen. I'm gonna show you guys, but I have to feed the baby first. And when he's like playing and he's good to go, I'll show you guys what happened to me. It's involving a present. So stay tuned. <laughs> okay, so just like that, I'm back home at home base. But I'm only gonna be here for a quick, a quickie, because I gotta go um, help my father out in his office real quick. I just finished that four to two shift. Woo! But it was really fun. I received a present. I just told you about that. I remembered in my last clip. And I never showed you because I got distracted. But I am I figured I'm going to show you guys when I show Dee when she comes home. Because it's so cute! It's literally so cute. I'm like... Anyways, I love my tree. So I'm here at my house real quick because I'm going to pick up last year's tree that I used. In my room, when I had a room, remember that? Remember when I had just a room and I didn't have an apartment? Remember that? A lot could happen in a year. Also, outside is like super, um, super cold and rainy and just like so, I love it. It's so cozy. Okay, so I'm here because I'm gonna pick up my last year tree because I'm gonna take it with me when I go to my mom's house because that's where my niece is, uh, my niece Lexi, she comes every other week. She lives in Anaheim. We're gonna be picking her up tonight after church. So that's gonna be kinda of, you know, crazy, but I cannot wait for her to be here. So she's going to our Christmas banquet. Anyways, long story short, I'm gonna get my um, old last year's Christmas tree, it's just a little one, so she can put it in her room to decorate for Christmas. And she already bought some ornaments and everything. So hopefully um, I can help her decorate her tree either tomorrow or maybe on Saturday. Or Sunday she goes back home Sunday so I don't know if we could find just some time in between the crazy schedule to um, do something fun like that with her like a Christmas miracle. This is literally what I was looking for and it's just randomly on an aisle by itself. Thank you, Jesus.
Okay, we are back at home base. Got all the stuff we needed from the store. Dee's back from home. <laughs> Dee's back from work. We're, we're, what are we doing? So, we're getting ready for church and Esther's gonna show me her sweet little gift from Jackson, which is the little boy that she babysits. So look at this cute little bag, first of all. This is <laughs> sprinkles and then it's like. Okay, so the quick little story behind this gift, okay? I gotta like, like set it up. So. Jackson asked me, why do you have such long hair? Mm -hmm. And I told him, uh, because I'm a princess. I'm a real life Disney princess. That's why I have long hair. And Jackson didn't believe me. And he literally asked his dad. And his dad's like, I think she is. But let me ask Josiah. Because Josiah, a brother in a church, works with Tom, who is Jackson's <laughs> dad. And so he's like, he asked Josiah. And he came home and he told, he told um, Jackson, it's true. She really is a princess. Oh and he said... Goodness. But why doesn't she have a crown? Stop! Oh my gosh! How cute he got you a crown? You're gonna cry again? <laughs> I'm like, how did you know? Can you stop? Shout out to Nina because I was telling her I really want to make gingerbread cookies and then she bought this for me Aww. today when I got to my Thanks, mom's house. Thanks, Nina. Thanks, Nina. Oh, we'll dude. give you one. It makes 8 to 10, so hopefully it makes 10. That'll conclude our video today if we don't get any more clips. Remember? Oh, wait, Dee, like, tell us more about your day. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you weren't in the last vlog either because by the time I, I like, had to rush home and fall asleep as fast yes, as I could, yes. even though I didn't. <laughs> So my day today was great. I went to work. I worked. Um, I worked all day, and it was a good day. Um, a really good day. So I'm thankful for that. I prayed about that this morning. My God, help me to have a good day. Cause sometimes we have bad days. Cause sometimes we have bad days, and bad days have meanings too. Yes. So. <laughs> so thank God for good days. So thank God for good days. But today was great. We're getting ready for church. We have a visiting minister right now, Brother Harris, Nathaniel Harris. He preached an amazing message last night. Yeah. And like tonight we're ready for round two. Yes. Oh my gosh, I think it clips of him preaching. Yes. If I remember. <laughs> It's not. 
not that you're a hypocrite. It's not that you're lost. It's not, come on, I'm going to help a church right now. Sometimes it's just the way it is. But you have to make up your mind. I'm an apparent contradiction. And even though I'm going through hell on earth right now, my world says, don't praise him. My perspective says, don't clap your hands. My opinion account says, I don't have a reason to shout. But because I'm an apparent contradiction, when I come to the house of the Lord, I still eat the joy. Even though I'm sorrowful, I still rejoice it. I don't have money in the bank, but I still got joy. Why? Because I'm an apparent contradiction. And I won't let nothing keep me out of the presence of the Almighty God. And um, it says, glory to God in the highest, peace. And on, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. So this is one page and that's another page. We're going to bring them together. And this is what's going to be on our Christmas float. the Bibles are going to go on and we'll work on it again probably Saturday huh Saturday morning all right sounds good in Jesus name all right thanks brother you're welcome remember everybody you meet is fighting a hard battle you know nothing about smile show God's love be light in darkness remember to live in strength and walk in dignity over and out